Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. I bought this microphone, so we're using this microphone. In this video, I wanna do a little bit of a thought experiment, um, but it's like a thought, it's an action experiment. I'm doing an experiment with my life. The hardest thing for me about being self-employed is focus. Specifically, the FOMO I get that makes it hard to focus. I feel pulled in a bunch of different directions, ultimately doing nothing. So if I'm filming a video that's youtube -y, I feel guilty for not working on something more creative, like a skit or bigger, like Evelyn and Friends. So then I start working on something creative, like a skit or bigger, like Evelyn and Friends. And then I'm like, dang, all this time I'm working on this, I have yet to do anything with Smack Your Lip. So then I'm like, okay, let me start planning that. Then midway through that, I'm like, ooh, that is irresponsible. That is not my job. So then I'm like, okay, let me drop this. Let me go do something that, I, that I'm that i actually paid to do, contractual obligations. But then I'm like, if I'm busy with my contractual obligations, when am I ever gonna write this pilot? Hmm? So then I drop my job. <laughs> and I sit in the class or read some scripts or open up a draft for the 5th, 11th time. Interior. <laughs> but then midway through that, I'm like, mm, writing a television program? Sounds hella pipe dreamy. And then I end up doing, say it with me, none of that. And I get in the bed. <laughs> I be in the bed. So in this vlog, I wanted to try something out. Uh, it's something that I've attempted to do off and on uh, for years. But I thought to myself, self, I said, self, maybe <laughs> if you vlog it, you know, and report back, that parasocial accountability will help. So let me explain. The mission. I'm gonna have two to three priorities for the week. You know, we chip away at them constantly, right? For the sake of completing them soon. These are likely urgent, upcoming deadlines. These are the things I have to do, hashtag irregardless. But then I'm gonna try having themed days. It's a day where besides doing my priority tasks, I focus on one theme for the day. Money Mondays. Then we have YouTube Tuesdays, Writing Wednesdays, Therapy Thursdays, which means I give myself permission to have no agenda. Then finally we have figure it out Fridays. You need a day to just like stare at the wall and think of things. Now I know you might be like, oh, that's simple. <laughs> More power to you. That way, right, we're solving for X uh, or Y. Uh, parabolas. That way I don't have any FOMO because I know for a fact that I plan to work on the other thing that's swirling in the back of my mind some other time that week, like it's part of the plan. Past Evelyn, making a promise to future Evelyn so present Evelyn can focus. So that's my little explanation. And in this vlog, in this video, I'm gonna take y'all along and see how it goes. I'm gonna try it out. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Money Monday. You know what I hate? The fact that rent was due today too. Yeah. Painful. It hurts. It really hurts. So I took care of that earlier this morning and I spent the past couple of hours doing the more urgent tasks that are part of my priorities for the week. You know, it's 2.30. It's that want, want, want time of day. So I figured I should do some of my themed tasks. And it's Money Monday. So let me show you what I have planned. First task is sending a follow-up email because I need someone to send me an invoice. I've been working on Evelyn and Friends low-key off and on. I wrote a character, a voice-activated virtual assistant. And of course, she needs a voice. So I hired Danielle, AKA Star Puppy, to do that voice. Good morning, Evelyn. What can I help you with? Loki, we completed that voiceover recording session a long time ago, but I don't think her people ever sent me an invoice. So I'm gonna comb through my email, cross my fingers that I didn't miss it, <laughs> and then send a follow-up. <sighs> 
All right, that actually goes seamlessly into the next money task, which is updating my budget spreadsheet for season one of Evelyn and Friends. So I updated the spreadsheet with invoices that have yet to be paid, but I know how much they'll be. I put a line item for an invoice that I have yet to pay, and I also don't know how much it will be, which is the closed captioning for every episode. Shout out to Bianca. And then I have a line item in case I want someone to help me edit because I'm drowning. <laughs> Me, I'm drowning. There's also a musical guest in episode five, the finale. And so we've been working together to produce a performance segment. So I'm putting that information in here so that when the time comes for me to pay that in full, it's already represented in the number I have floating in my head. I also updated it with things I got online, like this microphone. I got it specifically for Evelyn and Friends. Got this and the things that help me connect it to all the things I gotta connect to. It's looking a lot better. It's looking like I know exactly where I'm at and that's on Money Mondays. <laughs> I wanna show you how long I've been putting this one off. I'm gonna show you my screen. March 16th. Since March, I've been meaning to compile a list slash send out emails to see if there could be any corporate sponsors for episodes of this could have been an email. You saw me shoot it, uh, shoot episode two and three. They, first of all, thank you because episodes two and three are brought to you by the good people of Indiegogo. But wouldn't you know, we got two more episodes. <laughs> There's two more episodes. It's a five episode series. So, <laughs> What are we gonna do? So I'm gonna compile a list of brands that I think would be interested in sponsoring this. <laughs> um, it's eight o'clock. Uh, I just got off our first Patreon cousin virtual co-working sesh, um, where we do like a oh come on come on girl, where we do like a silent power hour of whatever we want. And so I used that hour to do something on my priorities list, but I wanted to come back and say that I did make my list of um, brands, but like I lost steam. Like I didn't, I didn't really do that task. I feel like this was a money Monday, possibly. What y'all think? I don't know, see you, see you tomorrow. YouTube Tuesday. All right, so I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just focus. It is almost nine o'clock at night. Freshly showered, you know what I mean? Greased up, got a headband on so y'all don't make fun of my edges, but best believe it's coming right off. I didn't do anything <laughs> on my like YouTube Tuesday, social media Tuesday list, answer comments, on the past two episodes of this might not make sense. Brainstorm, three day in the life vlogs, three sit down vlogs, and three episodes of The Plan, which is a little thing that I do on Patreon. That was all that was on my YouTube Tuesday list, and I didn't do any of it. Now, hold on. What I will say is the things that are on my priority list for this week, are YouTube. So I did spend my work day doing stuff, but I didn't get around to those things that are like in the back of my head, constantly nagging me. You know what I mean? I'm tired, I don't wanna hold this camera. See y'all tomorrow. Writing Wednesday. Hello, it's Wednesday. I took a little bit of a different approach this time and figured, hey, maybe I should begin my work day with something within the theme versus seeing if I get around to it when I get to it. So today's writing Wednesday and so I'm writing. So far I've, I've done a lot more than I would have done this week if I did not set aside a day 
with this theme, I would have not done it, factually speaking. So, I forgot about that. So I've been in my Google, in my Google Doc this whole time. And then I kept having these ideas and I'm like, I swore I wrote this down. So then I decided that today's task should be compiling every little bit of something related to this specific project and putting it in the same folder. I have, oh my gosh, yes. October 10th, 2020, where I wrote, I don't know if I was in a class or what, but I wrote, oh yeah. Okay, I did take this class. So I wrote down all the characters and who they are to each other. This is good. And this was not in my Google Doc. Don't remember seeing that, okay. Hmm, wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> they said write what you know. Speaking of which, we often hear that phrase thrown around a lot. Write what you know, talk about what you know. And a lot of us might assume that means write the scenarios that you know. Write the feelings that you know. You don't need to have been a doctor. <laughs> what did Shonda Rhimes say? In their scripts, they just say medical, medical for all the medical stuff and then they come back to it later because it's about feelings, right? So while this show is not about a scenario that I have personally been through in exactly this way, it is about feelings that I've had or feelings that I've been adjacent to. Hmm. <laughs> this is tough, which is why I avoid it. It's much easier to be like, hey, YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. I know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. And I think that's okay. See you tomorrow. Therapy Thursday. So every day this week, except tomorrow, Friday, um, we've been doing virtual co-working over on Patreon. Um, and it's been uh, evenings so far, but today, Thursday, it's gonna be in about half an hour. So it's the afternoon, 2 p.m. Central, and we're just gonna hop on Zoom. We use co-working very loosely. You could be folding your laundry, you could be coloring, you could be taking a break. And it's just like keeping each other company. The past couple days I've actually been doing like a legit power hour of work, but today I'm not too much into that. I don't think I wanna make stickers. I'm done, I'm over that right now. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is continue a little bit of what I was working on yesterday for writing Wednesdays. Also, why did I choose to film this vlog the week that I need to um, change my hair? Not thinking, she's not thinking with her brain. But just take me as I am. The message and <laughs> not the messenger. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. <laughs> we got new faces and old ones. <laughs> Figure it out Friday. Okay, so boom. 
Happy Friday. Figure it out Friday. I've been figuring it out. Type, type, typing. Backspace, backspacing. I'm reassessing really is what it is because I make plans, they have a result and then I reassess and I'm like, wow, did that work? Do I even like doing that? This is how I'll change it. This is what'll stay the same. What do people call it? Start, stop, start, stop, continue. And that's how you figure it out. Full disclosure, stopping the skits. <laughs> black, black, black. Depression, Jessica, give it to God. They were fun, qualitatively received well, ultimately a distraction. So stop, start vlogging again. I resisted it for a long time, but it's helping me like recenter myself, get back to basics. Also, if you are an editor, a video editor, let me know. Go ahead and email me your information. Show me your reel or some videos that you've edited. Yeah, just putting that out there. Another part of Figure It Out Friday that I'm gonna do, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to actually head home, like home home. And so Steve, uh, hashtag baby blow is gonna be there. And there are a couple of things Patreon related, uh, this might not make sense, the podcast related, that I need to figure out with him. So I'll be doing that this weekend. Maybe he'll even, maybe he'll even let me get a little vloggy vlog behind the scenes clip to put, to put right here. So that's the notebook where we're figuring things out. And uh, how's it going? I think we've come to a good understanding, a good well. perspective. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it either. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it either. The results. Right. And here we are. And here we are at the end of the week. How did it go? Well, number one, good idea. Good idea overall. I would recommend this. Give it a try. That being said, I don't think it's uh, reasonable to do every single week because the nature of, of life is that things pop up. I think this would be good to do once a month for one week out of the month. Quell, oh, I hope that's a word. In my mind, it's a word. Quell your fears. Those other parts of your brain, they're like, but what about me? But what about me? But what about me? Shut up. Third week of, of May. That's when it's happened. That's when you can come out. Whenever I feel myself getting oogity boogity, <laughs> I can feel myself getting oogity boogity and I know that it's time to do a themed week because I set aside time and made a concerted effort to use that time for what I said it was going to be used for, I made a lot more progress in a couple hours in a day on my script, right? On Writing Wednesday, than I did all 2022. And because I made progress, I no longer talk so bad to myself about myself. Oh, I'm behind. Oh, when will I ever? I never can do anything. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's quiet. Next note, what makes this difficult is not getting into the groove or like not letting yourself get into a groove. So if I work on my priority tasks and like, I get into the, like I get into the groove, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna start writing. So why don't I just keep click clacking around Adobe Premiere living my magical black life. Next point, this is a great experiment to really show you that you can realistically only do like maybe three things in a day. And it's something that I know, like I know this fact, but because of the society that we live in, go, 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 hustle hard, because of that, it I forget, I'd be forgetting. This was just a little vloggy vlog uh, if you're if you're like, ooh, where you been? I'm getting back to basics. I'm just vlogging for now until I don't feel like it anymore again. <laughs> so that's it for me. In the comments below, let me know if this was helpful, illuminating, eye-opening. Let me know what y'all are working on these days. <laughs> where y'all at? What y'all doing? I'm nosy. And I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye.